In this video, we'll walk through an example of order of operations with a polynomial, all these terms here. So order of operations, again, is parentheses or some symbols of grouping, and then exponents, multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction. So the symbols of grouping is what we'll work with first, and we've got these, these um, box squared uh, brackets and the rounded parentheses. It doesn't matter what they look like, but we just work inside out. So if these were reversed, if these were square brackets on the inside and rounded on the outside, we would still work inside out. So we work with this first, y minus 1. Well, we can't simplify that anymore, so we're done simplifying inside these parentheses. So now we go to multiplication, right? That is, that would be next inside this large uh, quantity here. So we have uh, multiplied negative 2 times y and negative 2 times negative 1. So what we get there is negative 2y plus 2. All right? We've just done the multiplication step. Now what we still have left is all this other stuff. We have the 4 minus this stuff and then minus 3y and then and 2y minus that. I've just written everything else there. Now, what we're going to do is simplify what's inside these large parentheses, or that is just combined like terms. So we have a negative 2y still there. So I'll just put this here, negative 2y, and 4 plus 2 is 6. So that's what we have. And outside of that, we still have the 2y minus 3y. And, and now note that the negative 3y is being multiplied by everything inside the brackets. We can't, can't uh, simplify what's inside these brackets anymore, so we'll start multiplying here. We have no exponents, so we'll start multiplying. So I'm going to change colors now, and I'm going to multiply this negative 3, negative 3y, negative 3y times negative 2y, and negative 3y times 6. So what I have there is positive 6y squared, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, and then negative 3y times positive 6 would give us negative 18y, all right, and that gets rid of the brackets because we've multiplied, we still have 2y minus, actually plus all of that because we've already done the negative times that, negative 3y times the uh, the negative 2y and the negative 3y times the the positive 6. So now we can just combine like terms. So for our final answer, we have 6y squared, and we have 2y and a negative 18y. That gives us negative 16y. So that was an example of using order of operations for this polynomial.